Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to read.com. I have for you a review of the Bell & Ross BR294. I remember several years ago when the BR2 came out. Um, it came out after the BR1, of course, and it was sort of the new professional diving watch from Bell and & Ross. And it was unique. This is a very unique watch. There's probably nothing else on the market quite like it um, in terms of the design. The functionality, of course, has all sorts of other watches that do the same things, but this one is a, is a unique piece. And, and they did a good job in it. I don't know exactly, but my feeling is that this has sort of been one of their underdog products. It's been something that maybe hasn't been appreciated as enough, as enough as it could be because it has, I'd say, an unorthodox look. It has almost a sort of a tonneau style case, though it's very slick and has nice rounded edges. And there aren't really tonneau style dive watches. I don't really know of any. Um, and unlike many dive, watch out, dive watches out there, Bell & Ross did a great job of making this one really feel like a professional instrument. As the 94 containing it at a 2894 movement, this is the chronograph. And to make it a little bit more attractive, Bell & Ross took out sort of the third register here and sort of uh, flipped it around a little bit, I think. Or maybe they didn't flip it around. Um, no, I think the register is in the right position, but it's a 30-minute um, chronograph. They took out the 12-hour the one right there to make it look a little nicer. The design of the dial is very cool. Uh, I like sort of the orange-edged minute hand. Uh, the hour hand is easy to see. The chronograph dials um, you can view, but they're not overwhelming. And it has an internal rotating bezel that you can operate this one. And what I like is that the the crown for the internal rotating bezel is located here. It's also a screw down one. And why that's important is because you can actually operate it relatively easily while you're wearing the watch. And there's a lot of these ones that have the uh, internal rotating bezel that you can't really operate. So like right here, I can simply operate this one while it's on my wrist and that, that's totally easy. And you know, internal rotating bezels are something that like some people love, some people don't really care about them. It's fine, but this one's done in a particularly slick way, which I like. The chronograph pushers are also screwed down, everything is screwed down. The case is 44 millimeters wide and it's also water resistant to 500 meters and you can see right here there is a helium escape valve. Um, and of course the watch is in steel. Now, as you can see, and maybe you'll agree with me, maybe you won't, but on the wrist, I think the design of this watch completely transforms. While it may look a little bit unique and unorthodox when, it, when it's not on, on the wrist, it suddenly starts to make a lot more sense. The design that is sort of this more rounded, organic feel seems to go in line with the wrist, and I feel that this is a type of thing that really shines. The BR1, for example, is the watch that looks good on and off the wrist. This is the type of style that you need to put on. Um, if you don't want the dial to look as cluttered, there are ones that don't have chronographs. There's, there's slightly different dial variations. This is, you know, this is the original one with the chronograph. I think it's very cool. Design, again, it mimics the BR1 look with the four screws, but again, it's rounded, it's a diver, it's comfortable. This is a comfortable dive watch because um, it wraps so very nicely. The rubber is just so smooth. It's, you know, Bell & Ross, their watches, sometimes people might feel that they're a little expensive, um, but it is a good ownership experience. The quality is nice. The cases are nice. They pretty much, you know, want you to have a good piece. And uh, I, I really appreciate the type of attention to detail that they have. Price on this one was $5,400, which is you know, not insane. Um, again, it's steel, and I think there was I think there was a gold version of this one as well, which is kind of funny. I always think gold dive watches are, are kind of hilarious. Again, this is the BR. This is the Bell and Ross BR294, and you can see the full review on a blog to read.com. Thanks.